Hey guys, how you doing? This is Jay. And for some of you who may not know, I am a video editor, uh, audio editor, uh, graphic designer, amongst other things. And a friend of mine, Laura, is getting into doing uh, voiceovers and uh, stuff for, for uh, books and whatnot. I wind up doing about two or three voiceovers a week. So I thought I would make a quick video here and show her how I do it. So let's first jump into GarageBand. I use GarageBand to record the raw vocals. I, when I'm reading, I read. If I stumble, I stop, redo it again. Just do it till I get all the parts in there that I need. Just for some generic settings that I'm using, um, I do have a copy of Logic. And because I have a copy of Logic, it does bring in the legacy uh, plugins. And in this case, I like to jump into male voice. I use what's called male creamy lead vocal. Uh, hopefully we can hear this thing, but usually what I do is I sit down, I give myself about three or four seconds of just dead air right in the beginning. Then I start reading. And in between each phrase, I give myself a little bit of air in between. That way I can catch my breath, get my thoughts straight, and make sure I say the line correctly. So after I've done this, oops, if we go in here, the Arizona Daily Star and Tucson.com are in search of talented account executives to join our team. So that's just the raw vocal going through the creamy male vocal or a male creamy lead vocal settings. One thing you do want to make sure you do, turn off ensemble and stereo delay and any reverb. You want a nice dry vocal. Now, I've gotten the entire vocal in here, unless there's been some really heavy duty stuff, like I cut out all the glitchy stuff. I just made a simple quick cut, dragged the piece over, kept on going. So basically I've got, you know, I haven't worried about space in between the phrases. I've just gotten rid of the, the stuff that wasn't good. Anyways, so I've got all that in there, and I leave myself a little tail in the end. What I do after that is I click on Share, Export Song to Disk, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it out uh, in uncompressed 16-bit CD quality as a WAV file. I'll just usually leave this on here because it puts the, you know, in this case, it'll be the account executive voiceover, the raw vocals, and the date and time it was done. Save it, boom, we're done. Okay, that takes care of GarageBand. The next thing that's going to happen is we're going to open up Aud Adobe Audition. From here, I'm going to go jump in, find that raw vocal I said over here. I'm going to drag that file into the waveform setup. I'm, a lot of people would be using multi-track, but I, I'll show you. I actually like using waveform because once you get comfortable with this, it's a lot quicker to uh, work on this. However, you will not have a file saved to go back and do anything to from this. Uh, I'm, I know there's a way you can go ahead and convert waveform to a multi-track. If you want to do that, look it up on YouTube and you can find it. Personally, I've never really had to go back in or if the changes were significant, I usually just had to re-record the whole vocal again anyways. So, drag this in, boom, we've got two stereo files. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through and I've got certain plugins that I'm gonna to wanna to use. The first one, automatic click removal. You'll find that, I believe, in noise reduction restoration automatic click remover if you double click on this you'll see i've got it set for a medium reduction that's it i just take the drop down menus and i, and I grab what's on here they, that seems to work fine for me the second effect i'm going to add is a de-esser again you'll find that i believe where is it where is it Come on, DSer, where are you? There it is. Under amplitude and compression, whoops, there's the DSer right here. On the DSer, by the way, I'm just double clicking on these things to bring the window up. I set it for the 4410 
by 7,000 HZ or Hertz deesser. That hits the s -s -s in my voice and seems to take that out pretty nicely. Next, do a little dynamics processing. What I'm going to do, and again, the dynamics processing, uh, you go into amplitude and compression, dynamics processing. I'm going in and setting the drop down menu for a smooth vocal. That just takes a little of the edge off of my vocal. I'm, I tend to be a bit nasally, and I think this evens it out a little bit better for myself. Last but not least, you see these massive peaks and valleys. What I want to do is even those out, and I'm going to use a hard limiter. In this case, the hard limiter, you're going to find that again in amplitude and compression. Go over here to hard limiter. What I'm doing with it is I'm setting the limiter to minus six decibels. Now, once we get everything in there, in fact, let me just show you. Let's turn each one of these off, and you can see what they're doing. So I'm just going to start the vocal. The Arizona Daily Star and Tucson.com are in search of talented account executives to join our team. The click remover As takes the clicks out. Becomes more complex, the Arizona Daily Star empowers the ESSER softens those S's. Tens of thousands of consumers in our network of sites. That's the smooth vocal dynamic processing. It smooths it out. From our experts. As an Arizona Daily Star account executive. And then the hard limber cuts the tops off and raises the middles. Now, once you've got all these in here. What I'm going to do is do a select all and apply them. Watch the waveform. See? Now, the waveform is adjusted to the minus 6 on the decibels. It's brought uh, some of the bottoms up, and it's it's basically evened out the vocal. So now when we listen to it, you'll partner with clients to provide a broad set of solutions to include. So what we have now is a nice clean vocal, no uh, sibilant S's and the whatnot. Okay, so that takes care of the overall. Now I need to go in and actually edit this thing. So this first step I'm going to do, you see the window up here? If you pull this, you can literally get all of your waveform into one window. I don't want that. I pull it down closed so I can see this little part in the front. And what this little part in the front is over here is a little bit of quiet, but there's no such thing as quiet on these things because there, there's always something. There's the air conditioner or the fan off your computer or the, the dog comes clicking across. So a little something will pop up in there. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the silence right here. I'm going into effects, noise reduction and restoration. And what I'm doing is I'm capturing the noise print. Or right, that little blink you saw means now audition, just learn what the noise is here. Next thing I'm going to do is go back to effects, noise reduction, res restoration, and what I'm going to, oops, wait a minute, I <laughs> forgot one thing. You need to do a select all now. I selected the noise here, so now I want the noise everywhere. Effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process. That'll bring this little window up over here. And it's relatively quiet, so you don't really have to do a whole heck of a lot, but I'm just going to apply it. Now, what that's done is it's taken all this section here, all the spots that are supposedly quiet, and made them quiet. Next on the agenda, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the spacing now in between all of this stuff. Like, see, we had a space here where we took a break. Executives to join our team as Mark. So I'm going to go in, and this is going to be very simple. I'm just going in, taking a chunk of that out, leaving about that much space. You decide. And you can go back and listen to join our team as marketing. See, that's a little, that's a little tight. I'm going to Command-Z, put it back, and take a little less. Join our team as marketing. See, that sounds a lot, a lot more natural. Okay, you see these little bumps here? That's where I'm taking a breath. Listen. Complex. The air is. Complex. The air. Little bit in there. So what I'm going to do is hit that, and there is a command U. What that does is it quiets it down. So now you hear. Complex. The Arizona Daily's. Now is that tight enough? Or complex. The Arizona. I'm going to take a little bit of space out of that. 
And by the way, you notice that when you take the space out, everything behind it jumps forward and connects. Complex. The Arizona. See, that's a nice transition. I'm going to go back to the next one. All right, you see this monster right here. Consumers in our. You're the big. <gasps> consumers in our. So what I'm going to do here. I think that's too much. See, if I just go and take that out, listen to what it sounds like. The consumers in our network. Too tight. So what I'm going to do instead is a combination. I'm going to take this Command U. See, we knock that down. So let's see what it sounds like. Consumers in our. Now we can take just a little bit out of here. Consumers in our network. See, now it sounds a little more natural. Again, let's keep on going. Apps. Weka. Let's just take a little bit here. The naps. Weka. And I'm just going to run down the line and just keep doing this. Experts. As in there. Here we go. We're just scanning here. Now let's see what the heck this thing is. Include building there. Okay, I kind of said a building. We're not going to take that out because if see what look what happens when we take that out. Include building their a mm, little, little unnatural. So what I'll do is I'll just take some out from the front. To include building their presence. See, a little more natural. Now we're going to be tightening these guys out. See these little things? These are mouth clicks. Let's get those guys out of there. Presence driving. Over. Just try to get a nice flow to the brakes. Leads grow. and leads growing audience. That one's okay. I can just tell visually on some of these that they're just a little too long. Customers, full sir. There we go. Here's another big heavy breath. With X. We'll just kind of go in there. Command U. It doesn't take it all out. It just takes it down. Solutions with experts to guide you. Again, a little long. I'm just going to take some of that out. On breaths and stuff, be, kind of be careful with it because you see how there's like a breath here at the end, but it's kind of a natural um, fade out of your of your word. And if you take that out, it clips it too hard, so it sounds kind of odd. To guide you, Andy. So if you listen to here, guide you, Andy. That's a good break. There's another one. Just take that down a bit. Solutions. We are dead. Here's another one. We'll, just, we'll take it into the fade. We win. We are. There we go. I'm going a little more here. Take this out. Workplace. We. Now, what I'm also doing is because we need a certain length on this, um, we may have to go back in and take them, take some of them even tighter. Benefits. Run your. Let's go away. Another one here. Let's see how this is. This is you. There we go. Now this commercial in general doesn't it doesn't really have to be a thirty or a sixty. Now, okay, now let's look at this mess right here. Visionaries, come to you. We're just kind of going to go in. Command U. Lighten that up. Visionaries, come to you. There we go. That's better. And then we come to the end over here. Ours. Okay, we kind of stop right about there. We're just going to delete that little piece at the end. We're going to go all the way back to the front. We had that little beginning right here. We're just going to snip that. So that way, when now when we listen to the, to the voiceover. The Arizona Daily Star and Tucson.com are in search of talented account executives to join our team. As marketing becomes... And it works just fine. Now, oh, one more thing. Uh, if you set these four up, like I said in the beginning, before you hit apply, you can actually go, once you get them in there, you can click this and say save effects and then name it whatever you want. So I've got those four effects in and what I do is I just click down when I drop these in and I say Jay's voiceover. Boom, there's my effects. You may want to go back in and double check everything to make sure it's set, you know, the way you want it. DSer, 
4410, 7000. Dynamics processing. We're going to smooth vocal and hard limiter. That just saves you the time of loading everything in there. Once you get everything in, select all, apply them, boom, they're there. All right, I hope this helped you out. Laura, good luck with what you're doing. And I'll talk to you guys later.